Bulgarian prehistoric cultures and especially the incomparable finds from Varna Cemetery from 5 millennium BC offer some remarkable ex examples of craft specializations including beads and necklaces made of various m minerals. In addition to this, still enigmatic no know-how of jewelry processing at Varna, from the very early Neolithic in the Balkans, two categories of objects are recognized as having been involved in prehistoric drilling activities. The first comprises two kits of micro-piercers found in the flint assemblages of several sites, among which Kovacevo in southwest Bulgaria represents a particularly interesting case study. The morphological characteristics of the micro-piercers and the context in which they occur suggest they have been used for making perforations. Used by analysis made by me on the large series of micro-piercers from Kovacevo reveals used implements with more or less developed micro-traces, broken pieces, possibly through utilization, and unused tools. The second category is represented by beads and other decorative and prestigious items made by bone, shell, pottery and various minerals such as uh, marble, serpentinite, malachite, nephrite and jadeite. The best way to understand these beautiful and sophisticated objects and the narratives embodied within them is to reconstruct the range of abilities and skills that had been developed by the people who produced them. My first experiments years ago entailed hand railing of pieces of local marble, pottery and shell using uh, three perforators from Kovacevo found among the, the material without context. The challenges of this approach motivated me to pursue a more, de more detailed and relevant experimental program and this presentation shows a series of experiments of drilling different materials with the aim of testing several practical issues relating to tool efficiency for drilling and optimal parameters for bead fashioning. Various samples of minerals and rocks, mainly blanks for Russian jewelry production, were prepared for use, ranging in hardness on the most scale from 3 to uh, 6 and 7. Biominerals were also used, aragonite from shells of Anodonta signae and Mytilus gallo provinciali species class Bivalvia, and apatite from bones of a calf. The bead production census trick to his, uh, was approached by manufacturing several delicate discoid beads of serpentinite, limestone, bone shells and marble using fine sand and water abrasion. A series of microborers and small perforators were produced by Bruce Bradley and Pedro Cura and used for handle, <coughs> health, manual and mechanical drilling with a pump drill. The team involved uh, in the experimental program has four main participants, Bruce Bradley from uh, Exeter University, Clive Bonsall from Edinburgh, myself and a colleague from our department in Sofia, Elke Anastasova. A detailed photographic record was made and some of the most interesting uh, moments will be shown to illustrate different aspects of the processing. Biomineral processing, two species of shell were used in the experiments, as I quoted before. With both mechanical and handmade uh, uh, holes, which are not significantly different under microscopic observations. A shell of metilus with a manual hole made for 10 minutes was chosen for cutting and bead shaping. Accidentally, the shell blank separated into two pieces, which were very fragile for friction and other shaping procedures. In all, two small beads were produced, which took 35 minutes in total. Bond Relic produced some surprising observations regarding the frequency of fragmentation of lint tools as well as uh, the efficiency of hand drilling. Bond beads were easy to shape after sewing the material with an unretouched uh, flint blade followed by abrasion grinding on metamorphic uh, slabs with fine sand and water. Three holes, one mechanical and two handmade, were made in 38 minutes the sewing of bone took 30 minutes and a similar amount of time was taken up by the shaping of the three beads. Total time, an hour and 43 minutes. Rock and mineral processing. Seven rocks uh, minerals were used in drilling experiments with a pump drill. You see the uh, hardness on the most scale. The last three minerals were very diff difficult to work and uh, after the first unsuccessful attempt made in Edinburgh and Sofia, the experiment was abandoned.
But because these minerals uh, were very important for our experimental program, their working was continued in uh, 2012 in Massao, Portugal, with the energetic and creative help of Pedro Cura. The piece of Amazonite was shaped for 40 minutes and drilled for 15 without visible results. A second piece without any shape modification by abrasion was drilled for 30 minutes with two borers, one of which was quickly broken, and again the result was a, a less than 2 mm cavity in the material with no prospect of creating a complete perforation. Rounding and the polished spot was observable of the tip of the flint drills. The shaved piece was worked further in Massau for 50 minutes mechanical drilling on the face previously worked and an hour drilling on the opposite side to create a bipolar hole. Finally, the piece broke into two pieces after two hours drilling, thus the intention to use this as a bead file. Quite instructive was an experiment with a button-like piece, jewelry blank of lazurite, which was made thinner by sand and water abrasion, but 20 minutes drilling produced almost no visible cavity in the material. The next stage of drilling this piece in Massau consisted in 62 minutes mechanical drilling on the same site with water and sand additives. More almost two hours work on the opposite side finally resulted in a bipolar hole. A further five, manual, uh, dr five minutes manual drilling was needed to enlarge the hole with a new borer because the tip of the original borer used in the pump drills was already too rounded and inefficient. Thus, this 3 mm thick piece of lazurite was perforated for 3 hours and 22 minutes in total without any subsequent fashioning to arrive as a finished product. A particular challenge was posed posed by restarting work on a piece of tremolite or nephrite after the initial attempt to drill this material in Sofia uh, uh, had failed. The new attempt took place in Massau and was performed by Pedro Cura. In all, he made, used and resharpened five borers during the drilling operation. Flint borers broken systematically with different resistance from 15 to 43 minutes. Finally, after two hours and 40 minutes energetic mechanical drilling, an unsheathened hole, cavity two millimeters deep, had been made with no prospect of completing the work, necessitating a rethink of the drilling strategy. This experiment will be continued in, at a later date until some promising uh, results are achieved. Malachite processing consisted of a very nice bipolar hole made by Bruce Bradley for only 10 minutes. Noticeable rounding of the piercer uh, was produced with many mineral residues on the flint tool and many microchips of flint in the hole. No subsequent alteration was made of this malachite piece. The experiment on it will be continued as well. As well. Drilling of a plate uh, of grey marble started in Exeter with a hole made for 8 minutes by Bruce Bradley, but accidentally the plate crushed when I tried to separate a piece for bead shaping. Subsequently, a small button-like blank was produced in 5 minutes with drilling taking 12 minutes, thus the bead was made in only 17 minutes. It is worth noting that the use of flint borer and marble produced the most significant micro features, rounding, smoothing and bright polish without with transversal striations. A series of six limestones bead manufactured starting uh, with cutting limestone for 35 minutes to produce six rectangular pieces, which were subjected to abrasion with sand and water, resulting in six circular blanks after another 35 minutes. Every bead was drilled in about, for about three minutes, and together all six beads consumed one an hour and a half of working time. The most successful of the experiment uh, in bead manufacturing was the work of serpentinite, a beautiful and relatively easy to work greenish mineral. The Chen Operatoire started with the use of a nice plate for which, in which four um, holes were made in 30 minutes with noticeable rounding and smoothing of the flint borer. Sewing and shaping, separating the pieces with holes took 30 minutes with a further an hour of abrasion with sand and water resulting in three beads with relatively regular shape. Technological traces of bead manufacturing are easily noticeable of the perimeter of the items and no rolling uh, the beads on the slabs were, was performed. 
The best example of a bit less than one centimeter in diameter and with a very regular shape and smooth periphery was made by my colleague in an hour with a delicate and careful fashioning approach. <coughs> the most beautiful, in my opinion, for beads, those were produced in two hours and 20 minutes. At this stage, of the, this stage of the experimental program, no definitive conclusions can be drawn. Nevertheless, some observations can be put forward on the basis of empirical data and detailed documentation of the experimental procedure. This uh, may be formulated as follows. There is a relation between the morphology of the piercer and their potential real use. The, the pieces inserted into a pump drill must have pronounced pointed parts must be drills, borers, or fourré a mesh in French, and not simple perforators. Piercers used in the experiment uh, can serve as rel relative indicators and comparative examples when considering archaeological collections of similar items. In this respect, the toolkit from Kovacevo is more likely to have been used in hand processing activity. There is no evidence to link the breakage fractures of the piercer tips with the manner of perforating, manual or mechanical, and or the hardness of the work materials. Some bows break very easily and quickly after perforating began in the first minutes. Rounding and smooth smoothing of are typical microwear features appearing on bowers tips after prolonged friction with the work material. Bright polish on the ridges and the concentric circles on the tip appeared only in two cases in drilling marble and amazonite for 20 minutes with a jasper microborer, and in drilling hard mineral, amazonite and lazurite, for more than three hours uh, if we used a flint borer. Holes produced by pump drill and manual handled uh, boring uh, are easier to distinguish on biominerals, bone and shell, than on fine grained minerals. This distinction is more recognizable in the cases of conical versus bipolar holes. The hardest materi materials successfully drilled and shaped into bits were bones and malachite from minerals 4.55 on the Moss scale. In this respect, the prehistoric bits made from carnelian, turquoise, tremolite, and other minerals harder than 5.5 on the Moss scale still represent a high challenge and enigma. The experiment suggests uh, that serpentinite and different limestones are suitable and aesthetically valuable uh, materials for bead manufacturing. Both drilling and bead shaping are more efficient with uh, the addition of water. Water and fine sand were essential additives for bead abrasion and shaping in the case of both mineral and biomineral beads. At the very end, I have to show again the amazing necklace from early Neolithic site of Golubnik, which manufacturing is equally astonishing and motivating us to use continue, uh, us to continue this challenging experimentation. And the length of this necklace is more than eight meters. I cannot omit at the end to express my gratitude to various institutions and individuals who helped the research team to realize the experimental program. As a, a final note about this small heterogeneous necklace comprising six limestone, four serpentinite, three bone, two, two shells, and one marble beads, the total time required for uh, its preparation was six hours and 46 minutes. But we must keep in mind the fact that I used already prepared mineral plates, which facilitated the bead manufacture process uh, enormously. And thank you very much.